Welcome to part two of Baytown Beginnings. This section will cover the Bayland Orphanage and some notable citizens of early Baytown. In 66, Goose Creek was the first place in Texas to have a non-denominational orphanage after the Civil War. It was located at Bayland, just below the Fred Hartman Bridge on the Laporte side, and was named after its location. Bayland Orphanage was established by Reverend C. C. Preston, Ashbel Smith, and Henry Flavel Gillette. It was open to all indigent white children of any denomination. No sick or mentally incompetent children were accepted. Widows were allowed to stay with their children. Ashbel Smith provided free medical care and visiting preachers conducted church services. Ashbel Smith even took in the first child as his foster daughter. The home closed in 1888 after serving around 250 children. Little evidence remains of the site. The land was used by the Girl Scouts as a day camp in the late 1960s, and John Wayne's movie Hellfighters was filmed there with the drilling rigs as a backdrop. Many notable citizens arrived during the late 1800s. Among them was Quincy A. Worcester, founder of the Worcester community located between Baker Road and Bayway Drive. His home, which he bought from John Rundell, was located in the Brownwood area. The Worcester home stood until 1961, when it was destroyed by Hurricane Carla. Several private schools flourished in the 1860s with five private teachers. No free public schools were established until 1876. Ashbel Smith was the first superintendent, and the first school with its own building was the Worcester Common School, opening in 1895, which has been moved from its location in Worcester and restored. As of 2014, the school building now sits at the Republic of Texas Park on North Main Street and is open for tours. Thomas B. Gilliard was a farmer who arrived from Natchez, Mississippi in 1867. He bought land on the west side of Goose Creek, valued at $5,000. He would later have to move his cattle from the area to make room for oil derricks, so he bought Hog Island for $900 from Ashville Smith for his cattle. He eventually sold the island to Humble Oil for $250,000. Gilliard inherited a 350-acre farm, which he sold to Producers Oil for $500,000. With these sales of property, he became a real estate developer for the new town of Goose Creek and wisely invested in property in Houston. Born in Bavaria and too poor to set up a practice when he arrived from Maryland in 1874, Dr. Nicholas Schilling briefly worked in a brickyard. Schilling was the only doctor for several years, since Dr. Ashbel Smith practiced very little toward the end of his life in 1886. Dr. Schilling first practiced in a lean-to behind a general store, and although often paid with produce, he managed to buy land and build a house and small office on the east bank of Cedar Bayou. Schilling had a diversified practice which included internal medicine, surgery, dentistry, fitting eyeglasses, and he even practiced some veterinary medicine.